Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be trying out these Maui products. Soy Moisture, Curl Quench and Coconut Oil. So I'm going to try the shampoo, the conditioner, the curl milk and the curl smoothie. So stay tuned to the end so you can hear my thoughts and opinions on all of these products and yeah. Oh, also one thing I'd like to say is that they didn't have any deep conditioner in this video, um, in this line, or that I could see anyway. So I did use the conditioner as a deep conditioner and I used the curl milk as a leave-in. So that's what I did there. Also, I'm just going to read the claims just so you can kind of get an idea. This is meant to be for thick curly hair and as you guys probably can see my hair is thick and curly so it also claims to hydrate it claims to smooth and it claims to defrizz so that is what I'm going to be looking for in this video so let's just get straight onto it so I'm starting off with really old hair I had actually blow dried my hair and this was the result after one month <laughs> not really doing much so all I did was wash my hair and you'll see me keep wetting the mirror that's just because I wanted you guys to actually see what I was doing to my hair but for the shampoo I washed my hair twice I used it twice and what I really liked about this is that it really got out all the dirt out of my hair you can actually see the grossness which is gross but it's also a good sign that my hair's actually being cleaned and I only focus the shampoo on the roots of my hair because I feel like it just gets the rest of my hair cleaned. When I focus it on the roots, it just trickles down to the rest of my hair. Next thing now, all I do is deep condition my hair. And like I said, I use the conditioner as a deep conditioner because they don't have a deep conditioner in this line. So, my hair is shedding a bit, however, it's not shedding a lot because I have been using my oil and this is within a month. This is how much hair is coming out in a month, over a month, so I think that is pretty good. I'm not detangled my hair in a whole month. My hair has been blow dried, so that's why you got to go with that Zarina Oil Cosmetics Oil because it really does reduce shedding. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this on my head for about 30 minutes to an hour. So basically, I was planning on diffusing my hair. This is the first time I've ever used a diffuser in my life. But guess what? It doesn't fit, which means this is the wrong thing. And I don't know where my other blow dryer is. But because it literally sits on, I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me show you. Like this. It doesn't go on but it has the same like width of how thick it is. I'm thinking of sellotaping it together because I really want to diffuse my hair. It's too cold so I don't want to air dry it and it won't be dry for when I need it to be. So I'm gonna try and DIY this dish. So I actually left my hair in this conditioner for a good two hours. So it wasn't half an hour, but the reason is because I just thought about it. I leave my deep conditioners in for that long, so why would I use a conditioner? It's meant to be thinner for less. You get what I mean? So I'm now going to wash my hair out. I showered. Or fresh. I'm kidding. <laughs> so I'm going to not shower and then... Well, not shower. I'm going to wash my hair out and I'll be back. So like I said, there was no deep conditioner, so I used the conditioner to deep condition. And I'm going to use this as the leave-in. So for this part, all I'm going to do is split my hair into four sections. In each section, I'm just going to rummage 
fat, milk in every section. So next product I used was the curl cream and what I did for this I would split my hair as you can see and for each quarter I split that again so I did four sections on each side of my head and I literally just put that in and smushed that in my hair and I love the way this comes my hair together and then what I ended up doing was the shingling method as you can see doing here and because my hair clumped really nicely it was easy to just find the curls. This does not come with an oil, this line, and I have to use the oil, especially now it's winter, or well, it's getting cold. So I'm going to just use the Zarina O Cosmetics hair oil, it's a hair growth oil, and it also locks in moisture, and moisturises your hair. Now if you saw earlier, I did tell you that this was the wrong thing for this and I was going to do some DIY experimentation and I actually said I take this old thing. I will get a new blow dryer because I do actually need one. But if you can recommend, I feel like I'm always asking people for recommendations, <laughs> but if you can recommend a good blow dryer, please let me know down below. Oh, also, I've never actually tried this before with a, what do you call it, diffuser. So I'm going to see how that goes and hopefully it goes well. Especially considering it has the sellotape. I'm gonna put it on a low setting so it doesn't melt. So I've never diffused my hair before, but I'm not really sure how to do it. So I'm just gonna wing it. I think what I'm gonna do is section my hair. So what I'm gonna do is just section the middle off like this. I'll do the bottom and then go to the top. And like I said, I just don't want this to break, so I will try and put on those settings. I haven't done my whole head but I just realised I'm putting on heat in my head so I actually should have put a good heat protectant and you know this decreases time. My hair's not completely dry but um 
I've just done a bit of these two sections so far and just going to rummage that in and then I'll do the, do the top as well. Let's get back to it and honestly this is working out pretty well like I don't want to jinx it or anything but it's not failed me yet. basically dry, not really dry but you know, I would say about 90% 90, 90 dry, I feel like I should just let the rest air dry just to try and reduce the heat, just to make it healthier but I actually really like these results and I don't feel like I need to pick up my hair because my hair gets really big throughout the days so I don't feel like I'm going to need to and my hair feels so soft and moisturised despite the fact I used the diffuser. I don't know why I was so scared to use a diffuser because I actually really like it. I like the way my hair's turned out. However, one thing I will say is that my hair does look a bit frizzy so I do feel like it's going to become a frizzy mess. That's also why I don't want to pick my hair but I do feel like that is due to the quality of this dryer it's one not it's definitely not the best but yeah quite impressed with these results so now let's get into all of the products and I'll tell you my thoughts and opinions of all of them so the first thing I did was obviously shampoo my hair and this was actually not a bad shampoo what I did like about it is that it really cleaned my hair up well I thought it was really, it really did help clean my hair out. I won't say it's the most moisturizing, but it is moisturizing enough, and I don't feel like it stripped out all of my natural oils. So I actually did like the shampoo, especially if you want to clean your hair. This is a really good product. It will really, really clean your hair. I think this is a good product. I'd probably rate this a seven out of ten. Yeah, seven out of ten. The conditioner, I did say I was using this as a deep conditioner and I left this in for a good few hours. At first I was kind of worried but I was kind of thinking if this is for thick hair, I feel like products for thick hair they're meant to be more moisturising and thicker so I thought okay maybe I could potentially get away with using this as a deep conditioner and I'm not sure if I could have but um, it wasn't the most moisturising product that I've ever used personally however it did give me enough moisture for what I needed. I do feel like if you have thinner hair personally I think it's better for that. I think my hair is just very on the thicker end so it's probably not the thickest product but this was okay. Like it wasn't bad but it wasn't good so I'd say this is like a 6 out of 10 because it wasn't like comsy comsa directly like it wasn't like a straight 5 maybe just a little bit better than that so I would give this a 6 out of 10. Um, I do wish this did come with a deep conditioner though because I feel like it would be better just to give me that extra moisture and I could probably see what this looks like as a um, toe wash maybe for the summer. Next I used this which was the Maui, Mo Maui Moisture Curl Quench and Coconut Oil Curl Milk. Again it's for hydrating, smoothing and defrizzing. It's, it says that you should use this on damp hair so I did actually use this product as my leave-in and I actually did like it. At first I was kind of worried because it didn't seem like it would be thick enough. I mean it looks thick, trust me. When you see this it's thick. It's thick like the coconut and hibiscus Shea Moisture Line. 
However, it's not to me as moisturizing as that. Like that is for thick hair. So I kind of thought maybe this would be similar to that line. However, this is like a dupe for that line. It did give me moisture. I was quite happy with how much moisture it gave me. At first I was worried because it, it's a thick product but it doesn't feel creamy on the hair. It's really weird. I don't know how to describe it. But like it didn't really feel as creamy as I wanted it to and as moisturizing as I wanted it to. So it was kind of weird, but nevertheless, it did moisturize my hair. And as you can see, my hair is just so soft. Well, you can't see it, you can't feel it. But <laughs> I'm telling you, my hair is really, really soft. And I was worried because it did say coconut oil in the line. Usually, me, I don't touch coconut oil when it's winter. But um, from what I'm seeing, this is coconut water, not coconut oil. And I'm not sure what the difference is. But this, I did think if it's a line for curly hair, usually you have to find a product that's very moisturizing so I was hoping that this would be moisturizing enough for the winter and this is very moisturizing I am happy with the results so far obviously I will be able to sell straight away because I'm indoors and the heating's on but like when I go outside I guess I'll really know if um this was a bomb AF product or not so if my hair's feeling really hard and crunchy I will leave a doubt in the description bar so definitely check that out and if it's good then it's a good time. So this I would give it, hmm, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10 because this was moisturizing, it just didn't feel moisturizing. It's a really weird feeling, really weird, but I did like the product and I would use this again. The last product I used was the Curl Quench Curl Smoothie and I actually love this product. This is probably my favorite product out of the whole line. One thing I loved about it is that it clumps my curls so well. So as you saw, I kind of did the shingling method and the way it just clumped my curls, just look at that. The definition is, I really, really liked the results and the definition this product gave, gave and also it is so moisturizing i don't know maybe like this two together is a really bum combination but this it actually felt moisturizing and creamy on the hands at first i was worried because it had like a cream texture that didn't like don't get me wrong it looks thick but it doesn't look you know there's products that look thick but they're not like thick thick i was kind of worried that would be this but this was so moisturizing it clumps your curls so well together and i feel like this would be great for twist out braid out and yeah i just really love this product this was definitely my favorite and i would definitely give this a 9.5 maybe a 9 out of 10. i'll give it a 9 out of 10. this is a really good product and for me that's a really good thing it's, it's getting to a 10 out of 10 but if i had to recommend <sighs> So I'm back after I don't know how many hours and um, the power cut went off but it decided not to come back on. So the claims were that it did hydrate, that it defrizzed and it smoothed the hair. So one thing I will say, it definitely hydrated my hair. My hair feels so nice and hydrated. It feels really soft and I can just like move it about and it won't be retarded. <laughs> Also, it also claims to smooth the hair. My hair does feel quite smooth and nice, and I do like the results. I do feel like, you may be wondering why didn't you pick your hair up, but the way my hair is, my hair will go bigger, like as the days come. So if I start with my hair big, it will go even bigger, and there's a level of bigness that it needs to go to. So I kind of prefer to just let my hair get big on its own than to make it big, because once I make it big, we can't tame it. So yeah. The last thing is that um, it defrizzes hair. Now, if you're looking at this, I do feel like when I did the diffuser, the diffuser settings weren't that great. The low settings were still hot, so maybe I don't have enough settings. I can't find any other blow dryer that has more settings. That's probably why the diffuser didn't even fit the thing and I had to do that whole DIY thing. But I do feel like, because it was hot, even though it was in the low setting, it would have frizzed my hair up a lot more so um that was actually my first time using a, a diffuser and i really did like the result i just feel like maybe if i had one with much cooler settings it would have tamed the frizz a bit more and it probably wouldn't have been as frizzy but for the most part the definition is there like the definition is great and like i said please leave some recommendations or a good blow dryer good quality one that's gonna last me a long time and 
yeah because I actually want to start diffusing my hair a lot because I can actually go out in the winter time with a wash and go because I always air dry my hair and now with a good diffuser I don't think I need to because I quite like these results actually and one thing I want to say about my hair now that it's waited for a long time not purposely but because the light went off um one thing I'd like to add I'm just really impressed at the fact that there was no residue sometimes when I use some products there's a lot of residue my hair but as you can see there's literally no like random white stuff my hair looks very shiny and vibrant and it's very bouncy and i really do like the way the definition looks it feels really nice a bit crunchy but it feels really nice for the most part my hair feels quite soft as well and it feels defined so i feel like this wash and go can last quite a long time and yeah i really do like that and as you can see, my hair is very bouncy, so that's another good sign worse. And I would actually use these products again, especially this, because I actually really did like this product. This with the Curl Milk, I think, is a really good combination together. So I do strongly recommend those products. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe, because someone might have wanted to try these products. Um, don't know what they're like, but I have the whole line here, so send them this video and hopefully it can help someone out too. And also, please give me a please subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to hit a goal before the end of the year, please. That would mean so much to me, and it will help so much with my channel as well. So, thank you. Adios.